to you. I hope you're doing okay today. Thanks so much for stopping by and watching at least half of this video. <laughs> we are now halfway through this little project of painting a wooden notebook and I'm enjoying it. I'm not gonna lie. This is a notebook that I've had for quite a long time and it's one of those things where it was such a nice notebook that I didn't want to ruin it by putting something on it that I wasn't entirely excited about, if you know what I mean. So it's taken me absolutely ages to think of anything that I would want to paint on it. <laughs> I bought it with the full intention of painting it, let's just, just say that. Um, but yeah, I just never did because I just kept getting intimidated by it. But the other week, I did this watercolour practice where I created a blue, a pale blue bird um, painting and I really enjoyed it and I really enjoyed the blue colours of it and I thought okay let's try painting an, a kind of another bird with the blue colours because it was so enjoyable to do and I thought ha ha I can put it on this flipping notebook that I've had for ages so that's where we've got to with this so the reason I did this particular design as well is because I really did not want to paint the the binding area where the spiral binding is can you imagine trying to paint the inner nooks of that binding in a neat way without getting it on the on the binding itself? Oh my gosh, that just seemed something very intimidating and horrible. So I thought it would be best if I made a design which didn't even go near it and just left a lot of the plain wood free and easy. 
um, around that area. So that's where why I've gone with this off the corner kind of look. And I'm actually really happy with it. I think it's looking okay. Um, yeah, super pleased. And I wanted to have a little chat just about like the colours because I don't usually use blues too much, but um, I'm really into it <laughs> at the moment. Oh, I'm really feeling the blues. And it's funny, isn't it, how you change and um, your moods change and colours move with it. Um, I think colour is such an important thing in any form of expression that you have, whether or not it's what you wear to, to perk up your mood each day or the colour of the walls around you or the colour of the notebooks that you use and the stationery. It all helps to express something about you because you react to that colour in some way. So for me, yellows are hugely present in my everyday life as well as the art that I make because it it just makes me feel happy. It's a happy, happy colour and yeah, just brings positive, 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 positive I can't say it, positivity with it. <laughs> but I also generally really like minty greens, perhaps very soft lilacs, but even though those are my kind of standard favourites, isn't it fun to be able to play with all different kinds of colours and to express different moods and different kind of stages of where you are by using those different colours, if you see what I mean? So yeah, uh, I really enjoyed doing this because it let me play with my blue mood for a little while. What colours, like shout out in the comments below, what colours kind of do something for you? Like either make you feel something or, I don't know, give you comfort of, of some kind, you know? Um, do you find that you use it in your art or are you not really arty or crafty but you definitely surround yourself um, in your home with particular colours which sort of subconsciously bring out some kind of mood in you? Um, yeah, I think colour theory and colour therapy is a very interesting kind of field and especially with art it all ties in doesn't it um it's lovely to use colors in your art which definitely zing for you regardless of what the topic is you know this is a this is based on a raven bird um but you know ravens generally aren't pastel blue but it doesn't matter does it that's the joy of just creating art that you love because you can make it any any flipping colour that you want <laughs> because it just makes you happy. By the way, if you do like this birdie design, then I have actually made a free digital art print version of this. So yeah, if you like it, there'll be a link in the description down below, which yeah, click on it, head on over, download yourself a free art print and print it at home. You'll also find links to it over on my Instagram too, at Gem and the Pen. If you don't already follow me there, please do come say hi. I'd love to see you. <laughs> um, that was weird. Okay. <laughs> so we're kind of coming to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching and chilling out with me as we painted this notebook. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. It really does help to support this channel. And and uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Do you like these goldy bits? I enjoyed the goldy bits. Oh, a little bit of shine there at the end. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. And I'll see you again next time. Bye.